All right, so uh, hello everyone. Um, I am back uh, because there's some really stupid Twitter drama that I'm going to cover right now. So uh, if you haven't heard already, uh, the Catholic Church did create a anime ma mascot, basically. Uh, well, it isn't a chibi style, but because it's anime adjacent and anime related, um, a bunch of people on Twitter were triggered. So uh, let's take a look at some background information. So from Catholic TV, the Vatican has unveiled the official mascot of the whole year, 2025 Luce, uh, Italian for light. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Luce uh, says the mascot was inspired by the church's desire to live even within the pop culture so beloved by our youth. And I think like that's that's a rare Catholic W, right? So just just so you're aware as well, everyone, uh, I am a Protestant. I am Baptist through and through. Um, but this this is like a rare Catholic W, and I think us as Baptists as well, and us as Protestants should take. Uh, note of this because obviously we want to be um, permeating throughout the world as much as possible and we want to be going through every field like whether it be entertainment science or anything right we, we want we as Christians want to be living the way that Jesus wants us to uh, wherever God has called us to um, and anime and pop culture is certainly one of those things so the Vatican unveils Luce dressed as a pilgrim with a yellow raincoat worn boots, a missionary cross, and a pilgrim staff. Luce's eyes are filled with scallop shells, a symbol of hope. And it's really cute, like it's a really, really well-designed anime figure as well. Um, what else do we have? A really cute art uh, that they have here. Mind you, we're, we're now going to, uh, mind you, these are, these are absolutely grown men um, about to be triggered, <laughs> about to be triggered by this cute anime girl. So I moved on but the amount of grown men defending this is gay. Buy one for your daughter, but don't pretend this is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, and I've got to say, this is this is genuinely one of the best things that the Catholic, like, I'm thinking of all of the things that the Catholic Church has done, and I reckon this is like the best thing since the scandals, you know, since the pedo scandals. Um, but this is, this is really, really good on the Catholic Church to be doing. I am no, but even find it off-putting I think they could have designed something similar using Jesus and the Apostles and St. Paul in the same anime style. Why make something completely unrelated that could be potential scandal? Now, I'm not going to explain this very well, but accor according to like Catholic doctrine, there's this thing called scandal, which is like um, you're causing someone else to sin. Um, and that's really weird. Like, I don't think this cute anime girl is going to cause you to sin. Um, it's certainly like uh, I challenge anyone in the comments to tell me how this cute anime girl could cause someone to sin. An emoji. Our church inspired the great artistic masterpieces of the world. Now we're making an emoji. I don't understand my church anymore. And I mean, I, I guess that's that's a good reason for you to become Protestant, I guess. But um, I, I was I was kind of trolling because I was like, uh, I was jokingly saying like, if if I ever do become a Catholic, um, this Luce thing is actually probably the the main reason I'm going to become Catholic. Because um, it's, it's like, there, there's a lot of Protestants. We're going to see a few Protestant responses. I think there's a few Protestant responses to this. Um, that are very anti-anime, and I think that's the one thing, that's the one good thing the Catholics have going for them, which is um, a lot of Catholic young people are very um, into anime, and um, that's, it's it's the best thing ever, right? It's, it's very, very cool, uh, which is why um, I feel, I guess I'd feel more comfortable in that community. Like, there, don't worry, guys. For for my for our Protestant friends, um, don't worry. I'm I'm not thinking of becoming Catholic anytime soon. But I think um, there will come a point if I do become incredibly frustrated with how um, particularly like Baptist and Pentecostal boomers um, being. It's it, it. There will come a point where I'll be so annoyed that I will just submit to Rome <laughs> at some point. Um, and it's it's only on the basis of anime, uh, nothing else. So yeah. Very creepy considering the pedo scandals over the years. Appealing to pop culture is a fail return to tradition. And I think that there's nothing wrong with appealing to pop culture. So let's 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 turn back to tradition, right? Some of the finest traditional paintings were the pop culture at the time. Like culture changes, popular culture changes. And if the church doesn't like, isn't sensitive, like of course the church shouldn't change every time that the culture changes as well. But I think there there is some wisdom for when the church is able to not only shift and change with the cult, uh, like based on like the aesthetic, I guess, um, but also be sensitive to the needs of what the people of the day are really having. And that's what the, like really, the, that's the great success of the church, which is we are able to bring the gospel and the good news and we are able to um, meet the needs of the people 
um, who we are ministering to at the time. And that's that's the beauty of the church and really like successful churches um, and really effective churches, I should say, uh, are able to do that very well. This one's the most cringe thing. So modernism is, among many things, an agent of demoralization. It seeks to humiliate, diminish, and shame. Don't let them succeed. Choose greatness. Which is, um, yeah, it's, it's one of the most comical things. Like, of course, like, I've prosecuted this case multiple times already. And I think the main reason why people really do like anime is because ultimately, at its core, anime is the celebration of beauty. Anime is the celebration of artistic um, expression, and that's why we like it. That's why we as young people like it. So to say that, to associate it with modernism is complete garbage. It's it's utterly, utterly garbage. This is insane as well. This is an insane tweet. Uh, there is far too much evil connected to anime. Sadly, it is a gateway and trap for kids. Uh, having this Luce character leading the way for young Catholics is beyond concerning. It's tragic. And it's like, these, these freaking boomers, it's just disappointment immeasurable, day ruined, ultimately. All right, so uh, we're now going to look at some of the uh, very specific criticisms of this. Um, so the first criticism that we're going to look up is the uh, actual artists themselves. And I want to debunk this straight away. So multiple people are saying that um, because the artist is basically gay, um, he's an Italian homosexual, that's why uh, we shouldn't do it. So that we, we, should, we shouldn't be supporting Luce. Um, so from this guy here, he says, sorry, my friend, but I've decided that I'm anti Luce now, uh, not because it's anime, but because he who was the one that designed her. Uh, these characters were designed by Italian homosexuals. Over the coming weeks, there will be viral posts about how they contain LGBT and um, pedo symbolism. Uh, then after that, scandals involving homo slash pedo priests will be revealed. You can bookmark this post and retweet after this all goes down, it, which which is like, it, it's very conspiratorial, right? It, it's, it's that internet conspiracy kind of aesthetic there. Uh, if they really wanted to promote Catholicism in Asia among the youths, they would have hired any of the thousands of talented young Filipino, Japanese, Vietnamese, or an Indonesian devout Christian artists instead to design much better anime characters. And like, I, I do agree with that. It, it is a shame that they didn't like use art, like commission arts, artists from Asia. Asia, considering this is a, like obviously an event happening in Asia, uh, but there's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with <laughs> commissioning an Italian uh, for that matter. But um, this guy makes a really, really good point about why we should uh, separate the artist from the art, basically. Um, because for in my field as well, I think for anyone on the internet, um, like. I, I obviously have to, uh, as much as possible, I do want to support Christian artists, and as much as possible, I do want to commission uh, Christian artists, but there are times where I am unable to do that because of price, or, like, I, I just don't know where they are, so, um, even the person who commissioned this uh, VTuber model, I don't think he's Christian, um, I don't need to know that he's Christian, all that I need, all that I need to know is that he commissioned, he was able to do the job that I was able to do, so, automatically, I don't think it's the end of the world that that the person who made this was homosexual, right? It's We need to be able to separate the artist and the service that they provide, and I think that's a perfectly reasonable view. So this guy says, Luce is a, the claim uh, that people make that Luce was created by an LGBT promoting company. This is true, but the design of Luce has nothing to do with their other works. Uh, Luce will re represent the Holy See's pavilion at Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan, uh, alongside a display of Carav Caravaggio's paintings the entombment of Christ. Caravaggio, one of Italy's greatest painters, never married and often depicted men centrally in his works. He didn't draw women like that, leading some scholars to speculate about his sexuality. Does this impact the value of his Christian art? And then, no, of course not, right? Like, of course we need to be wise in who we're supporting and the artists we're supporting, but if a particular piece of art has been commissioned for an express purpose, I don't think we should be, like, going insane, right? We, we shouldn't be going insane over it. Um, so multiple people have also mentioned how it's it's anime and therefore childish, so here are a few tweets about that. Uh, I'm so tired of the childish infantilization, uh, spelt infantilization wrong, uh, of the reverent and the sacred. Um, and I, I excuse me, <laughs> to, to say that this is reverent and sacred, no, it's, it's meant to be like a cute anime girl, and it's, it's not an infantilization to make things cute, right? To make things cute is to exaggerate certain features, um, the feminine features, I would say, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's, it's just a cute anime girl. This won't draw anything, maybe young children, this is why their churches are empty, their seminaries are empty, their convents are empty, and so are their souls. Meanwhile, adults, 
young and old want Tridentine Mass, but they forbid real faith in a Jesus Christ wake up. And this is completely untrue, right? Because Christianity is absolutely exploding across the world, uh, and there are a lot of people actually returning to Catholicism. It's something that I might cover in a later video, but it's something called like embracing the cringe, right? Which is young people are wanting tradition, right? Um, but young people also like anime. Um, and like this, this channel and the viewers of this channel are the perfect example of that because every like most of my subscribers here are all Christians. They all like anime and they're drawn to stuff like this because people like anime. It's, it's not a cringe thing. What I do not understand is how this will draw the young uh, who, in my experience, are drawn to great love stories of heroic virtue on the part of young people like themselves, uh, i.e. Blessed Jose Sanchez del Rio, uh, the young Cristero Martyr. Uh, and of course, like those stories are all also cool. It's just that anime also is really, really cute, right? And that also drunk, draws young people, right? It's not mutually exclusive. Uh, you don't have to draw a false binary there. Why does the church need a mascot? This appeals to children. Uh, it's not, uh, which is fine, but they are not the main group that they should be appealing to. Like, they are they are certainly a very important group to be appealing to. Like, it's, it's not only really that. Um, and it's not only really that, right? This mascot, like, it's still amazing to me, like, because anime is still really popular, like, right? especially among uh, teenagers and a lot of young adults as well, so I don't see why it's not it's not the end of the world, right? This criticism here uh, is really, really annoying to me, actually. So a lot of people are saying Luce means light, uh, which is like basically Lucifer, and this guy's making a bit of a stretch because he doesn't like, he doesn't speak Italian, I'm assuming. So he says, Luce Ifer, do you understand? So trying to make the connection between, oh, like Luce is literally Satan. Now, for those of you in the audience who are who do actually believe this, um, I want to be as gracious as much as possible, to be as gracious as possible towards you, um, but I, wa I want you to seriously look at the arch here, look at this mascot here, and I want you to seriously tell me, look me in the eye, and tell me in the comments that this is Satan. Like, you, you cannot be serious, right? This is not Satan, right? Um, it's it's absolutely insane to me that people would make the connections that, oh, hey, uh, cute anime girl, this this is Satan. Uh, like, you can't be serious, right? Other people here are saying, I honestly don't think this is a good idea. Total cringe with a touch of light bearer vibes. Um, ah yes, symbol of Christianity, Lucifer. This one's a bit wild. Uh, Luce is forged in the depths of hell crafted by Lucifer to mock God uh, and his Catholic Church. Woe to those who become instruments of Satan. Like, this guy can't be said. Like, you, you cannot seriously look at this cute anime girl and tell me, oh, this is literally Satan. Like, you cannot be serious. Luce, as in Lucifer, the bearer of light, the modern LGBT Catholic Church not being satanic challenge impossible. And like, it's, it's insane. Like, all of these boomers just do not understand like it's it's too far of a stretch to make like this is this is one of my main complaints as well with like dispensational uh theology as well and like what, what is it like pre-millennial yes that's it pre-millennial theology which is like there are so many connections made and i don't think you're not thinking through this hard enough i i know you think that you've got you're onto something and you you've absolutely cracked the challenge right <laughs> you've 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 solved the puzzle but it's not special. What you've done isn't anything special. And no wonder if a Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, which you shouldn't be misusing scripture like that. Um, all I'm saying is be very vigilant. Uh, that's not what you were saying a second ago, uh, especially of things that look innocent, but inwardly are evil. And Again, look at the like, look at the cute anime girl. Is is this inwardly evil? Um, the Bible warns us many times. I am not convinced Luce is innocent. Like it, absolutely insane. Luce, Italian for light. Satan is known as Lucifer. The name Lucifer is Latin for morning star or light bearer. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. PSA for all Catholics. And here's some of the pushback, right? Which is like I I absolutely agree with this. So PSA for all Catholics. You are no longer allowed to name your child, children Lucy, Lucia, Luce, Luca, Lucius, Lucian, Lucille, Luke, and if you do so, you are naming your children after Lucifer, and you're a dirty, rotten Satan worshiper. Uh, you are also not allowed. You are also not allowed to use the following words: lucid, lucent, elucidate, translucent, illuminate, luminary. Using these words exposes you as an evil, disgusting Satanist, and it's straight to hell for you. Uh, if your parents give you a luck name. I'm sorry, but it's too late for you. And that, that's that's hilarious trolling uh, on that guy's part. Um, so let's look at some of the pushback to this because Luce equals Lucifer, but no, it, it's it's a complete mistranslation. So Luce means light in Italian and Lucifer translates to light bringer 
or morning star. The words are connected through their association with light, uh, but that doesn't make light a bad word. And like, does, does that mean if, if okay? So let's say, let's let's cast our mind back 200 years ago where people were actually like carrying um, lamps because there was no electricity. Um, so would you say people who are light bearers, would you say, oh, they're, they're trying to act like Satan because they are, they are being light bringers or light bearers? No, of course not. Like, don't, don't, be, don't be ridiculous, right? This is a massive stretch. It's, it's completely unnecessary. I cannot understand it. I cannot comprehend it. Um, Luce, like as in Lucifer, this cute anime girl is literally a Satan. And I absolutely love the use of this, this meme because, yeah, uh, too, many, too many boomers on Twitter. There are too many boomers on Twitter. If you claim Luce, the little pilgrim Vatican mascot, refers to or is short for Lucifer, you are just showing your ignorance in Latin and Italian. Luce is a female name in Italian. The word Luce means light in Italian and in Latin in, that, uh, in the ablative ablative case uh i'm, I'm not going to say that any further but you know like it's it's, it's so much fruit all right we're now going to cover some of the orthodox pushback to this so um does this mascot inspire you to hire lgbt propaganda artists to make your religious art and ave maria ame here says whatever happened to separate the art from the artist which is what i agree with as well his response here it should have existed in the first place this isn't a thing in orthodoxy because we never lost the piety of holy art where are you even guessing that a church father. This is my main reason why, like, if I were to choose between Catholicism and Orthodoxy, I'd actually choose Catholicism. Um, one one reason why is because I think Catholicism is just it's far more intellectual. Uh, it actually has like proper theology, and um, Orthodox are just like they're, they're wacky. They're, they're they they like to say, oh, let, let's trust everything to reason. Uh, not reason, sorry. <laughs> they don't trust everything to reason, which is what the Catholics do. They 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 have built a theology around reason. Um, Ortho bros would be like, oh, God's far too mysterious for us to comprehend, and blah blah blah, blah. like all all that Russian gobbledygook. Um, so oh, and also because Eastern Orthodoxy, I, I'll do, I might do a video on this later, but Eastern Orthodoxy is literally the reason why communism has risen in certain countries. Um, and there's a lot of Catholic countries, like if you compare uh, Catholic, Protestant and Orthodox countries, um, Orthodox countries are more likely to turn uh, communist than non-orthodox non countries. Anyway, that's my anti-orthodox rant over. There's some other ones here. The orthodox mascot unto the ages <laughs> of ages. Um, what the youth want and what the youth get. And yet, you know, like, the youth do want anime. It's not, it's not the end of the world. I do want to also focus on this guy here. This guy's hilarious. <laughs> um, he claims here, Watching over a billion people be subjected to a mass humiliation ritual isn't funny, it's sad. Roman anime Catholicism, you guys deserve better, Lord have mercy. And, like, it's, I, I don't see people's pro it's, it's just a cute anime girl, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Some of the responses to this guy are really funny, like, I love this fan art here, it's so, so cute. Anime Catholicism is the best of its kind. I don't know what you're on about. It's now the only kind uh, with a clown face. Just imagine the letter of St. Paul would be writing in on this debauchery. Um, and I think St. Paul would actually be um, absolutely behind it uh, because it's, it's, as this guy says, it's cool, it's cute, it's fun. Only people who hate fun and joy are getting upset about this. And he responds by self-evidently untrue. People who care about our children are getting upset at this continuing Jesuit bag of tricks. Uh, at some point, you have to take a stand against this degenerate behavior. Our children are counting on us. Let's, and again, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep putting the image up, right? Cute anime girl. Th this ain't degenerate, right? Children absolutely love this because it's cute, and it, it's not, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. This response here is absolutely perfect. Without joy, faith becomes a rigorous and oppressive exercise and runs the risk of ailing with sadness. There is no holiness without joy. And that's actually a rare Pope uh, Francis W. right there. So in terms of some of the positive responses, we'll come to a lot of the fan art and memes because uh, there are so many memes in this. Um, I'm going to show you them at the end of the video. Uh, but I absolutely love this guy here. Um, he is Roman Catholic. He's like a Catholic, young Catholic apologist, right? He, he is a bit cringe sometimes. Uh, but he says, this is absolutely based. Um, this inspires me to crush heresy. This inspires me to work harder. This inspires me to evangelize the world. This inspires me to be holier. This inspires me to have fun. This inspires me to joy max. This inspires me to white 
pill. I love my Catholic faith. Thank you, Luce. And I agree with everything with that except the last line. And that that's absolutely basic. Like, this is this is the sort of thing, right? Which people like the appeal of anime because it's really cute. Um, and it, it's it's certainly inspirational, right? Um, cute anime girls uh, are the solution to inspire young men to like protect <laughs> protect uh, the things they love. But before we look at the uh, other fan art. I have to address something because Redeemed Zoomer um, absolutely fell off. Um, some of the responses here, I, I'll, so if you guys didn't already know, uh, he announced on Twitter that um, he quit Protestant apologetics. Um, and not only that, he's he's also been very historically like anti-anime. This announcement on his Discord is absolutely insane. So he says, I hereby make a decree. I've wanted to do this for years. Anime is officially banned on the server in response to the Vatican pandering to young online trads by having a weird anime mascot. I anticipate a huge wave of anime used for LARPing and <laughs> degeneracy. As Matt Walsh said, anime simply feels evil and demonic, even if you can't really explain it logically, right? It, it, we're we're now basing our theology we're basing our theology and rules on like feelings right and, and that's absolutely insane. Um, luckily, I own the server, so I can make rules based on my own personal instincts. Those who post anime or refuse to change anime PFPs will be timed out. This isn't ban worthy, but will still be somewhat enforced. I'm so glad John Calvin didn't approve of anime. And let me counter counterpoint. I'm pretty sure he would. So. And the response from one of his mods here is says, it's so good show over, um, which is absolutely hilarious. Um, he, he was also being cringe on Twitter as well. So he said, why on earth have the papists made an anime girl their mascot? Because um, they're 14 year old lonely dudes, which is like, it's, it's a funny joke. It's a joke, but it's also a straw man. Um, the Catholics are up to something. Now, I do not at all um, endorse Edgewater Presbyterian Church, um, but Redeemed Zoomer isn't really... Um, inspiring anything here as well. So he says, no, no, please, not having this garbage is like one of the only few things Protestants still do better than Catholics. Um, that's insane. Like, Redeem Zoomer, man, love you as a brother. Like, you are, you're, you've been an inspiration for being, um, you know, you know, for, for being like a good reformed person. And like, I'm inspired by some of like the, um, a lot of the stuff that you've done, um, in terms of like just educating people and reform stuff. And I really appreciate it. And like real reform stuff, even though I'm Baptist, right? I'm not really, re I'm not a real reformed person because I'm not like, uh, in the historic Protestant tradition. But when you say stuff like this, it's, it's just insane of you. You say the behavior of anime addicted weebs online shows the fruits of anime. I'm an anime iconoclast. You're an embarrassment to yourself, which is like, that's a Martin Awutha W right there. So anyway, um, that's one of the uh, other results of this, which is uh, Redeem Zoomer absolutely fell off. Um, so let's look at some of the fan art now. Um, there is so much fan art. It's all really, really cute. Um, I'm going to just keep keep it going through. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's the best thing ever. I have absolutely absolutely adore the fact that there's just so much art fan art of this um cute anime girl and yes yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing it's and so many memes as well like um anyway regardless this isn't the con content i usually do um and yeah obviously i've been away for like forever so <laughs> for for two months i think i've been um or a little over one, uh, almost two months I've, I've been gone. So um, if you did enjoy that video, please leave a like. Um, I am going to be streaming, question mark. Um, this is why I have the uh, VTuber model now. So it's, it's really cool that I have a VTuber model now. Um, and I'll be really excited to um, see you guys perhaps more in streaming. But um, yeah, if you haven't watched any of my videos in a while, uh, please do. Um, it's it, it helps it helps a lot so i hope i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your days wherever you are in the world um and yeah we'll be we'll be praying over the u.s election as well that um the you know god's still in control so we're, we're praying over that um but if you do want more anime content uh please take a look at uh some of the stuff that i have on, on my channel so take care